All right, we are back with another blade review. Hanway Civilian Shaska. Comes in a wood cord leather wrapped scabbard. You have the attachments to carry this one. You can see that it has a wrist wrap as well for retention. And this actually clicks into place. So you have the pinky and the ring finger to pull this out. And then you have the exposed handle with the steel ferrule on the forefinger and a little bit of a guard. And this thing slides right out. This one is really cool. It's a longer blade, it's a civilian version, not really a military version of the Shaska. We'll take a look at some specs on this one, up close looks, and do some cut testing. Let's get to it. All right, out of the gate, I found this to be a really cool feature is that this doesn't just slide in, it actually clicks in, which is really nice. I would not hold this upside down, of course, but it is nice that Hanway did think of that. The uh, inside of the scabbard is wood lined, so this has obviously been milled out in order to click in. I just really like that feature, so I just want to make sure I share that with you. Overall length is 36 and 13 16 highly specific blade length and overall length on this one. This one has a false edge. I'm going to just place the scabbard down real quick. This one has a false edge, so the back of it could be sharpened. I'm not, don't quote me on that. You got to talk to customer service, but this has a thin enough of a back edge. Remember, there's no edge on this side that I'm touching right now, but it is thinner on the back of it. The whole back spine of this is actually thinned out to make sure this doesn't have excess weight. It cuts like a saber. It moves like a saber when it comes to whether you're working more punch cuts, if you're circling this around. Larger slashes for clearing ability are obviously there as well. And of course, you got your thrust. Really easy to maneuver while still having some weight behind it. It feels more along the lines of like a USS Sabre or something you would see from like cavalry swords. 30 and 1 16th of an inch, two pounds, 2.4 ounces. Not super heavy for how much blade you get. Like I said, the circling cuts, if you're going larger slashes as well, not like you'd be just doing this um, with the larger, with smaller punch cuts and circling cuts like that direct thrust it moves very well in the hand talking about the handle we have a couple cool features on this one we have a pin handle so this wood piece we have a single pin running through the tang the tang is exposed on the back of the handle and also on really more of the knuckle uh, knuckle side of the handle as well you have a small guard so this section right here is not sharp you have a small guard, that way your hand, let's give it a better angle than that. That way your hand does not slide up. And then you have a hook, that way it's gonna also hold retention on the pinky side. You'll notice my wrist is wrapped up. This is the wrist wrap, there's a, you could call it, I wouldn't call it a lanyard hole because that would be not accurate. But there's a hole in the handle so you can wrap this through. That's obviously for added retention, you'll see that in other shaskas as well. Hanway does a good job on this one because if you braid it, if you just kind of twist your wrist and then wrap it in, this is what's going to allow it where you don't get hit in the face while you're doing cut testing with it. Now you could unravel this and just untie the knot if you wanted to, but this is the way it came in the box when it came to me. Let's take a look at some up close looks at this one in the scabbard and out of the scabbard. We spoke a little bit about the grip. The grip length is four and one quarter inches, partially a wooden grip and then partially a steel grip. Steel quality on this one is gonna be a 5160 high carbon steel. We'll slide this back into the scabbard. See that clicks right in. Wood cord, leather wrap scabbard. You can carry this in the traditional way. Add some sword hangers, grab a sword belt from cultivathena.com. That way you wanna carry this one. Let's take a look at some cut testing with this. It did very well. The edge is sharp. It's battle ready or functionally sharp. Let's take a look at that footage. Thanks for joining me for this review of the Hanway Civilian Shaska. 
This one is a impressive blade, a simple design, but packs a punch with powerful cutting ability and also a cool scabbard that locks into place. To buy this one, click the link in the description below this video, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.